Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I am going to be doing a little crafting and I'm working in my Christmas strawberry shortcake junk journals that I'll have in my Etsy shop soon. But I wanted to show you how you can use a paint card, like a paint chip card that you can get like at Joe, or not Joe Ants, <laughs> at Home Depot or Lowe's um, or Walmart. Some Walmarts have paint. And I had found this one that I thought went really well with my theme. It actually has peppermint patty on there, but I don't have a picture of peppermint patty. But I just love the colors. And what I have to go with it, I have this strawberry shortcake wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper. And I cut out two strawberries and this picture of strawberry shortcake. And then I have some washi tape. It's just a green, gold, and red stripe with a dot. And then I also pulled in some red rickrack. And I have this Chanel, red Chanel yarn. So I'm just going to alter this. I don't have anything to cover the back right now. But I do like to cover it with like a coffee or tea stained paper paper or just a black not black a white paper on the back so that you can actually use it to write on you don't have to do that but anyway and then I have my hole punch and my scissors and my glue so this is just going to be a real quick and simple little craft with me I love using these um, just to alter so I was thinking I could go down like one side here with some of this washi tape and I didn't get it down. Just trying to get it straight here. I'll go over a little bit and then I can trim it off at the top. And I'll trim it down here and at the top. And then I thought I could add some of the rickrack somewhere along here. Put, if I want that at the top maybe. I want her in the center. And then This one at the top, over the top of that, and then I'm trying to see what I like here. And one over there. I think I like that better then at the top. So let me turn this off. I feel like this layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue down. Now since this is wrapping paper, it's really thin, at least this one is anyway, <laughs> not the thicker style. So I'm going to just put a little layer of glue, smush it around so it won't look chunky on the top. that down. Still looks, it 
still can see the glue chunks anyway, but try and smooth it out as much as possible. And do the same with the other two. Maybe a little Mod Podge with a brush would be better for this. Oops. Go do it over there. Leave a comment down below what it is that you are working on right now. If you started your Christmas, you're still working in fall. I finished up my fall. I just, at this point in time, I need to film my last video of my fall Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge. Um, it probably will be up by the time you actually see this video. But... I'll do the final flip through and find out the winner of my challenge. Okay, so I need a little bit more glue over on this side. So this isn't, I didn't get any over here. So let's see if I can get some. There. All right, and then I just want to punch a hole in the corner and tie some of my yarn through there. I want to do two layers. And I'm going to start by putting it through the hole from the front. So I have four, like a loop of the two, the two loops and then my ends here. I'm going to clip that off here in a second. You just have to be careful when you do this that you don't like pull it through and break that hole. <laughs> I've done that before. So just like slowly pull it tight. I need to get it a little bit tighter, but I don't want to break my, let's see here. I think that's as tight as I'm going to get it. And I'm just going to clip this here. Just like that. So there we go. I think it turned out really cute. So I have another one because I'm doing two books. I'm just going to go ahead and make this one. I'm super excited about these journals. I haven't done a Christmas strawberry shortcake. I've done many strawberry shortcake journals, but not a Christmas one. So hopefully you're excited to see the final. I haven't done a lot of videos. Actually, this is the first video I've done for those journals. I'm just trying to get them done in, in my shop before the season is over. But I definitely will do a final flip through of them. I have them pretty much done. I don't remember if I did a like a video where I showed everything that I was going to be using or not. I can't remember. 
but yeah, I found some fun things. I think I did because I I did find some vintage strawberry shortcake ornament, like fabric ornaments that you, it was the fabric and you cut the pieces apart to make the little stuffed ornaments and I found the fabric. So that is what I'm using on my covers and I'm sewing it onto some other like coordinating fabric and uh, so it turns out really cute. If you didn't, if you're not following me over on Instagram, I did put a sneak peek of the cover on there and I made a tassel and everything for them too. So I'm loving how they're turning out. So hopefully you will too. All right, you can see how quick and easy these are to put together. Just an easy altered tag, or altered paint chip tag. This is kind of like putting a napkin down, like that, it's just that fragile, you know? that thin, a little bit thicker than a napkin obviously, or one layer of a napkin. All right. Oops. Got some sticky on there. Move it out as best as I can. And put this last strawberry down at the bottom. All right. Here we go. Sometimes this um funny the names they call they call the colors of the paint like this one is called blarney stone <laughs> and then the next one is called basil pesto and then up above that one is elf shoe <laughs> um of course there's peppermint patty this one's tint of green i don't know what the other other two are but I just think that's funny. You kind of wonder, like, who has that job of coming up with the names of all the endless amounts of paint colors that they have? And that would just be an awesome job, I think. All right, so punch my hole there. Double here. If I can get this through here without ripping through the hole. There we go. That's good. And I'll just trim this off or off there. All right. Okay, guys. We are done with our tags. I think they turned out really cute. And obviously I'll need to cover the back of these so they can be used for journaling. But I just thought I would come on and show you how you could do this. Um, yeah, they turned out really cute and hopefully you enjoyed the video. So give me a thumbs up if you did, leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless.